praise the Lord. According to one year Bible reading plan day 364, we have Revelation chapter 17 to 18. Revelation chapter 17. Then one of the seven angels who had the seven balls came to me and said, Come, and I will show you how the famous prostitute is to be punished, that great city that is built near many rivers. The kings of the earth practiced sexual immorality with her, and the people of the world became drunk from drinking the wine of our immorality. The spirit took control of me, and the angel carried me to a desert. There I saw a woman sitting on a red beast that had names insulting to God written all over it. The beast had seven heads and ten horns. The woman was dressed in purple and scarlet and covered with gold ornaments, precious stones and pearls. In her hand, she held a gold cup full of obscene and filthy things, the result of her immorality. On her forehead was written a name that has a secret meaning, Great Babylon, the mother of all prostitutes and perverts in the world. And I saw that woman was drunk with the blood of God's people and the blood of those who were killed because they had been loyal to Jesus. When I saw her, I was completely amazed. Why are you amazed? The angel asked me. I will tell you the secret meaning of the woman and of the beast that carries her, the beast with seven heads and ten horns. That beast was once alive but lives no longer. It is about to come up from the abyss and will go off to be destroyed. The people living on earth, whose names have not been written before, the creation of the world and the book of the living, will all be amazed as they look at the beast. It was once alive, now it no longer lives but will reappear. This calls for wisdom and understanding. The seven heads are seven hills on which the woman sits. They are also seven kings. Five of them have fallen. One still rules and the other one has not yet come. When he comes, he must rule only a little while. And the beast that was once alive but lives no longer is itself an eighth king who was one of the seven and is going off to be destroyed. The ten horns you saw are ten kings who have not yet begun to rule, but who will be given authority to rule as kings for one hour with the beast. These ten all have the same purpose, and they give their power and authority to the beast. They will fight against the Lamb, but the Lamb, together with his called, chosen, and faithful followers, will defeat them. Because he is the Lord of Lords and King of Kings, the angel also said to me, The waters you saw, on which the prostitute sits, are nations, peoples, races, and languages. The ten horns you saw, and the beast will hate the prostitute. They will take away everything she has and leave her naked. They will eat her flesh and destroy her with fire. For God has placed in their hearts the will to carry out his purpose by acting together and giving to the beast their power to rule until God's words come true. The woman you saw is the great city that rules over the kings of the earth. Revelation chapter 18 After this, I saw another angel Coming down out of heaven, he had great authority, and his splendor brightened the whole earth. He cried out in a loud voice, She has fallen! Great Babylon has fallen! She is now haunted by demons and unclean spirits. All kinds of filthy and hateful birds live in her, for all the nations have drunk her wine. The strong wine of her immoral lust. The kings of the earth practice sexual immorality with her, and the merchants of the world grew rich from her unrestrained lust. Then I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out, my people, come out from her. You must not take part in her sins. You must not share in her punishment. For her sins are piled up as high as heaven, and God remembers her wicked ways. Treat her exactly as she has treated you. Pay her back double for all she has done. Fill her cup with a drink twice as strong as the drink she prepared for you. Give her as much suffering and grief as the glory and luxury she gave herself, for she keeps selling herself. Here I sit, a queen. I am no widow. I will never know grief. Because of this, in one day she will be struck with plagues, disease, grief and famine, and she will be burned with fire, because the Lord God who judges her is mighty. 
The kings of the earth who took part in her immorality and lust will cry and weep over the city when they see the smoke from the flames that consume her. They stand a long way off because they are afraid of sharing in her suffering. They say, How terrible, how awful! This great and mighty city Babylon, in just one hour you have been punished. The merchants of the earth also cry and mourn for her, because no one buys their goods any longer. No one buys their gold, silver, precious stones and pearls, their goods of linen, purple cloth, silk and scarlet cloth, all kinds of rare woods and all kinds of objects, made of ivory and of expensive wood, of bronze, iron and marble, and cinnamon, spice, incense, myrrh and frankincense, wine and oil, flour and wheat, cattle and sheep, horses and carriages, slaves and even human lives. The merchant said to her, All the good things you long to own have disappeared, and all your wealth and glamour are gone, and you will never find them again. The merchants who became rich from doing business in that city will stand a long way off, because they are afraid of sharing in her suffering. They will cry and moan and say, How terrible, how awful for the great city. She used to dress herself in linen purple and scarlet, and cover herself with gold ornaments, precious stones and pearls, and in one hour she has lost all the wealth, all the ship's captains and passengers, the sailors and all others who earned their living in the sea, stood a long way off, and cried out as they saw the smoke from the flames that consumed her. There never has been another city like this great city. They drew dust on their heads. They cried and moaned, saying, How terrible, how awful for the great city. She is a city where all who have ships sailing the seas became rich on her wealth, and in one hour she has lost everything. Be glad, heaven, because of her good destruction. Be glad, God's people and apostles and prophets, for God has condemned her for what she did to you. Then a mighty angel picked up a stone the size of a large millstone and threw it into the sea, saying, This is how the great city Babylon will be violently thrown down and will never be seen again. The music of harps and human voices, of players of the flute and the trumpet, will never be heard in you again. No workman in any trade will ever be found in you again, and the sound of that millstone will be heard no more. Never again will the light of a lamp be seen in you, no more will the voices of brides and grooms be heard in you. You merchants were the most powerful in all the world, and with your false magic you deceived all the peoples of the world. Babylon was punished because the blood of prophets and of God's people was found in that city. Yes, the blood of all those who have been killed on earth. May the Lord bless us abundantly. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.